Welcome to another exciting teaching from 26 West Church Kids. We hope you enjoy learning more about our great God and grow and enjoying Him in your everyday lives. Be sure to check out the Parent Weekly at 26westchurch.org slash parents for more information from our teaching today. Here we go. Welcome, friends. It is so good to be here with you today. My name is Jamie, Howdy, and I partner. brought my friend Meredith Howdy, along, man. and we want to talk to you about the Big God Story. Mm-hmm. Should we invite Hamilton the Hedgehog to join us? We should. Okay, let's. Let's call him on the count of three, okay? Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. One, One two, two, three. three. Hamilton, Hamilton! Come out! Hamilton! Where are you? Should we call him again? I don't know if he heard us. Okay, okay. Well, let's find out. Okay. One, One two, two, three. three. Hamilton, Hamilton! Where are you? Come out! <laughs> Hi, Hamilton. How are you? It's so good to see you today. Oh, my goodness. Hamilton has a baby. Hamilton, is that a clue for the Big God story today? Oh, yay. I love babies. I know. So cute. So fun. Well, are you ready to hear this part of the Big God story? I'm so ready. How about you guys at home? Are you ready? Well, I'm ready, too. But before we go further, where do we find the Big God story? In the Bible. That's right. We find the big God story in the Bible. God gave us the Bible so that we can learn about him and his son, Jesus. So make sure you look in here if you ever have questions. Mm -hmm. So I know that you love to dig, dig, dig into God's word. Isn't that right, Hamilton? So fun. But before we do, hey, let's pause. Let's invite God to teach us and pray, okay? Let's close our eyes. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for the way that you love us and take care of us. And I pray that you'll just help us to learn what you have for us. We pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so this week is a really special one. We get to talk about God's promises. And I can tell you something important. He always keeps his promises. So in the Big God story... God made animals, Mm -hmm. he made people, Mm -hmm. and he made the sky, he made the ocean, all of these wonderful things. God also made a really big promise. He promised to send us a very special person, a savior. And that special person is, do you know who it is? Jesus. That's right. God promised to send us a savior who is Jesus. Jesus forgives us when we make bad choices, and because of him, we can know that God will be with us forever. Jesus is God's promise. He's so special. So God's helpers, the prophets, told the people all about God's special promise, Jesus, Mm -hmm. right? So people wondered when the promise was going to come. They could hardly wait. Do you guys ever get excited about promises that your parents make? It's sometimes hard to wait, but that's what the people had to do. Mm -hmm. So after years of waiting, something wonderful happened. Let me show you. God sent an angel named Gabriel to talk to a girl named Mary. Hello, Mary. That's what Gabriel said. God is with you and he loves you so much. Mary was surprised Mm -hmm. because who's ever been around angels? That's very surprising. And she was a little bit scared too. But the angel said, don't be afraid. You're going to have a baby and his name will be Jesus. Oh, Jesus is God's own son. That's what the angel told her. Hamilton, you've brought a baby with you today. Do you think this is the clue for the big God story? I think it might be. Yay, I love it. Well, I think so too. At home, let's all pretend that we're holding a baby. You have to hold its head gently Mm -hmm. like this. Do you guys all want to rock your baby back and forth? Nice. Well, let's talk about the next part of the Big God story. I have another picture for you today. Mary went to visit her cousin Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth saw Mary and she was so excited. She blessed Mary and her baby, and Mary was so thankful. She sang a song of praise to God because of it. Do we sing songs to God? Yes, we do. We sure do. Mary sang a song to God because 
God's good and he's strong and he's kind. And because he kept his promise to send Jesus to the world and to save us. It's so wonderful. God always keeps his promises. Can we sing a little song to our babies? Let's do it. Let's sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Does everybody know it? Mm -hmm. We can just sing part of it, okay? okay? Here we go. Rock your baby. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Oh, so that is pretty. Awesome. That's so much fun. Well, I have another picture to show you. This one, Mary was going to get married mm -hmm. to somebody named Joseph. Joseph was a good man. He loved God so much. And he didn't know that Mary was going to have a baby. So one night while Joseph was sleeping, God sent an angel to him. The angel came to Joseph in a dream. And the angel said this. He said, don't be afraid, Joseph. You can get married to Mary. God gave Mary the baby who is growing inside her. The baby will be a boy, and you must name him Jesus. He is going to save people from their sin. So Joseph did everything the angel told him to do. And let me show you again. Joseph and Mary got married, and they waited for the baby to be born. It's so sweet. And they knew the baby Jesus would be special. Jesus is God's own son. So God sent Jesus to save us, just like he promised. Mm -hmm. Hamilton, I'm so glad you came today and brought that sweet little baby. I can't wait to see you again next week. Bye. So, so fun. Sweet. Yeah. Mary was so happy that she sang a worship song to God. Mm -hmm. God kept his promise and he sent his son Jesus to save us and to love us. Children, I have a verse for you. This is from the book of Luke and it is in chapter 1. It's verses 46 through 47. It says, And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Children, may you always rejoice in God because he always keeps his promises. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad we got to be here today. Thank you guys for joining us. I have a couple things I want to tell you. One, remember to look in the Parent Weekly for your craft and for the color sheets that go with this lesson. Also, next week there is not going to be a video for you with Hamilton, but we are going to have a Christmas gathering at our church that you're invited to. There's chances to come on December 19th and on December 20th. We've also prepared a really special Christmas Eve online gathering for our entire church family, and you can come to that too. Just check out the website to find it, okay? And I hope you have a wonderful week. Talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.